Have you ever wondered how circumcision is actually done? It's a procedure that has been practiced for thousands of years, from the temples of ancient Egypt, to religious traditions in Judaism and Islam, to modern hospitals today. But behind the word circumcision lies a carefully designed medical process, one that's surprisingly quick, precise, and far less intimidating than most people think. So let's break it down. When circumcision is performed on a newborn, it usually takes place in the hospital within a few days of birth. The baby is gently swaddled, lying calmly on a special padded board designed for safety. A local anesthetic cream or injection is applied to numb the area, so the baby doesn't feel pain. For older boys or adult men, the setting is different. A sterile operating room with anesthesia that ensures complete comfort during the procedure. Once the area is numb, the doctor begins by gently pulling back the foreskin. Many don't realize this, but the foreskin is naturally attached to the glands at birth, like a protective layer. The surgeon carefully separates it, making sure not to injure the sensitive tissue underneath. Then comes the key moment, marking the exact amount of foreskin to be removed. Too much or too little can cause problems later, so precision is critical. Here's where specialized tools come in. The Gomco clamp, a small metal device, is one of the most common. It safely shields the glands while allowing the foreskin to be trimmed with accuracy. The Mogan clamp is faster, widely used for religious ceremonies, especially in Jewish tradition. The Plastibel device is a plastic ring tied around the foreskin. The excess tissue falls off naturally after a few days. Each method is chosen based on the patient's age, cultural tradition, and medical preference. Once the foreskin is removed, the area is cleaned and protected. In newborns, no stitches are usually needed. In adults, dissolvable sutures may be placed to ensure smooth healing. And just like that, the procedure is done, often in under 15 minutes. The recovery is surprisingly quick. Babies usually heal in a week, with only some redness or mild swelling. Adults take longer, two to three weeks of careful hygiene and rest, but complications are rare when performed in proper medical settings. Why do millions still choose circumcision today? Because it's more than just tradition. Science shows that circumcision makes it easier to keep clean, prevents painful urinary tract infections in childhood, reduces the risk of sexually transmitted infections like HIV and HPV, lowers the risk of certain cancers for both men and their partners, and avoids future medical problems like phimosis, where the foreskin becomes painfully tight. Think about it. One small, safe procedure at birth can ripple through decades of someone's life, protecting their health, reducing risks, and even protecting their future partners. Circumcision may be one of the oldest operations known to man, but it's also one of the most enduring, a procedure that blends faith, history, and modern science into something simple, but powerful. Because sometimes the smallest medical choice can create the biggest shield for the future.